college has been quite the experience so far. I'm the type of person that likes to know where I'm going in life. I'm what you would call a visionary. See the target at the end, aim towards it with full force. We've all been on this college journey, and as far as I can tell, it's anything but knowing where you're going. Before coming to college, I was actually pursuing other dreams. I wanted to be a private investigator, so I studied criminal justice for two years. That for me was such a reality, and some of you may not believe it, mostly because, well, you can't picture me holding a gun. And I don't blame you, but that was the reality of the situation for quite some time. God challenged me in that season, and I encountered him radically. He asked me, what are your passions? What are your true desires? I will give you those. So I vulnerably said, God, I love art. I love design. I love dance. But I didn't see how I could have a way of living that life. Later on, a friend of mine came up, mentioned Hillsong College and that they offered a dance program. So the person who I was, knowing what I wanted at the end, decided I will go to Hillsong College, study one year of dance, come back and finish my hopes and dreams of becoming a private investigator. Well, I sit before you as a third year student studying graphics and design in the communications departments here at Hillsong Church. God is funny in how he grants our greatest desires. It wasn't always easy being here. It wasn't always something that I chose. I could have gone home. I could have quit midway, but I decided to remain. There were moments when I wanted to give up. God continued to challenge me and say, your passions and your desires are going to be something that actually you need to work for. About a year ago, I received some news on the home front, something that rocked my core. A sibling of mine was rushed to the hospital within an inch of his life due to drugs. He overdosed and saved by God's grace at the last minute, was able to come back to full rehabilitation. Now for me, being the big sister and being the person and the comfort and the care that I wanted to give him, I wasn't able to do that, and I felt almost this guilt of not being there for him in his time of need. God challenged my heart in that season, and he said, do you not trust me to be the father that I am? Do you not trust me to be the caretaker and the strengthener that I can be? I just need you to pray and to remain. It was hard, but I obeyed. So I just prayed and I remained. that I'm not home, the fact that I'm not there for my family, it's heartbreaking. And I ask God again, why would you take me here far away if you knew that things like this would happen? And he said, allow me to be the comforter. Allow me to be the strengthener. I need you to pray and to remain. I learned so much in this season of my life. I learned how to trust God and how to rest in him how to rely and lean and get rooted 
knowing that no matter what wind of circumstance comes my way, I will not be shaken. It takes time, but as we dig deep and grow our roots in Christ, then no matter what comes our way, we will not move. My name is Adrielle, and this is my grace story.